Hello, welcome to hyderabadhub.com. We offer online and offline coaching for GMAT, GRE, SAT and IBPS tests. This lesson will be very useful in your preparation. Keep watching. In my previous video, I explained how to get the prime factors of a number. In this video, I teach you the application of prime factorization. Prime factorization helps us understand the properties of a number. This process helps us finding the LCM of numbers, HCF of numbers, the number of factors of a number and finding the sum of factors of a number. LCM lowest common multiple you must know how to get the LCM of two or more numbers to solve many questions in quantitative aptitude. Definition the LCM is the smallest number which is commonly divisible by two or more numbers. For example, the LCM 12 is divisible by 3 and 4. No number smaller than 12 is divisible by both 3 and 4. Hence, 12 is the lowest or least common multiple of 3 and 4. There are a few approaches to find the LCM. Approach 1 is the multiplication method. The multiplication method. We multiply each number by the whole numbers to find its multiples. Let us find the LCM of 9 and 12 by using the multiplication method. What are the multiples of 9? We multiply 9 by the whole numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Hence it is called multiplication method. So the multiples of 9 include 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72 and so on 9 multiplied by 1 9 9 multiplied by 2 18 9 multiplied by 3 27 we find common multiples between the two sets we have 36 and 72 which are common between the multiples of 9 and 12 36 is the lowest common multiple of 9 and 12. Note that although 72 is a common multiple for 9 and 12, it is not the lowest or least common multiple. Prime factorization method. We have the second method to get the LCM of numbers that is prime factorization method. Please watch our video on factors, multiples and prime factorization for better understanding of prime factorization. You can find the link for that video in the description. Prime factorization implies getting the number of prime factors in a number. For example, in 9 there are 2 prime factors of 3 or 9 is equal to 3 into 3 or 3 square. Similarly, the prime factors of 12 include 2 into 2 into 3 in the sense. So there are two prime factors of 2 and there is one prime factor of 3 in 12. So 12 can be prime factorized as 2 square into 3. The least common multiple must be divisible by both the common factors which have the highest power and the non-common factors which have the highest power. For example, 3 is the common prime factor between 9 and 12 and the highest being 3 square. But the prime number 2 doesn't exist in both the numbers in the sense the prime number 2 is not a common factor 
for 9 and 12. However, to function as the closed common multiple of two numbers, the LCM must be divisible by the common factors which have the highest power and the non-common factors which have the highest power. In this example, the LCM must be divisible by 3 square and 2 square. Hence, we consider both the common factors which have the highest power and the non-common factors which have the highest power. Thus, the LCM is the product of both the common factors which have the highest power and the non-common factors which have the highest power. Let us do one more example. Let us find the LCM of 48, 60 and 72. The prime factors of 48 include 2 multiplied by 2 4 times that is 2 raised to 4 into 3. The prime factors of 60 include 2 square into 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1. The prime factors of 72 include 2 raised to 3 into 3 square. The prime factors 2 and 3 are common in all the three numbers. They include 2 raised to 4, 2 square, 2 cube, 3 square and 3. We consider only the factors which have the highest power. 5 is the only prime factor which is not common for all the three numbers. Still we need to consider it. We need to consider all the non-common factors for LCM. Thus the LCM of 48, 60 and 72 is 2 raised to 4 into 3 square into 5 which is 720. Now let us look at the third approach that is the division approach to get the LCM of 48, 60 and 72. When applying this method we need to begin with the prime number 2 and see whether at least two of the given numbers are divisible by 2. We find that 48, 60, 72 all the three are divisible by 2. So when I divide 2 by all the three numbers I get 24, 30, 36 which are again divisible by 2. Hence again I divide by 2 and I get 8, 15, 12. Now I find that two of the given numbers are divisible by the prime number 3. And when I divide 8, 15 and 12 by the prime number 3, I get again 8, 5, 4. Now I see that only 8 and 4 are divisible by the prime number 2. Hence I divide these numbers by 2. Now I get 4, 5, 2 which are again divisible by the prime number 2. And finally I get 2, 5, 1 as remainders. And there is no common factor for 2, 5, 1. Finally we get the LCM by multiplying all the prime factors by the remainders hence the lcm is 720 now let us find the lcm of expressions which have both constants and variables let us find the lcm of 12 x raised to 4 20 x cube y cube and 32 x y raised to 5 and z cube. First, we need to find the LCM of constants, namely the LCM of 12, 20, and 32. By using the division method, we find that the LCM is 960. Now I find the LCM of variables that is the LCM of x raised to 4, x cube y cube and x y raised to 5 and z cube. First we consider the common variables which have the highest power. The common variables are x and y and the highest the highest power for x is 4 and the highest power for y is 5 and the uncommon or non-common variable is z with its power 3. Thus the LCM of the variables is x raised to 4, y raised to 5 and z cube. 
the LCM of 12x raised to 4, 20x cube y cube and 32x y raised to 5 and z cube is 960x raised to 4, y raised to 5 and z cube. Why do we consider the common prime factor or common variable which has the highest power for LCM? We consider the common prime factor or variable which has the highest power for LCM because it is the only value which is divisible by all common prime factors or all variables of the given numbers. For example, in the sum discussed above, y raised to 5 is divisible by y cube and y raised to 5 and x raised to 4 is divisible by x raised to 4, x cube and x. Why do we consider all the prime factors of the uncommon or non-common variable for the LCM? We consider all the prime factors of the uncommon or non-common variables because the LCM has to be divisible by uncommon prime factors or the variables too. The highest common factor or the greatest common divisor. Now we are looking for a number. It is not only just a factor but also it is the highest common factor for two or more numbers. The greatest number that can exactly divide two or more numbers is called the highest common factor or the greatest common divisor of these numbers. For example, the number 15 can divide 30, 45 and 120 without leaving any remainder. Hence, 15 is the highest common factor of 30, 45 and 120. No number greater than 15 can exactly divide 30, 45 and 120. How to find the HCF or GCD of two or more numbers? The HCF or GCD can be found in the following ways. 1. By applying the division method. 2. By using the prime factorization method. The division method. Now let us find the highest common factor of 192 and 348 by using the division method. We divide 348, the greater number, by 192, the smaller number. When I divide 348 by 192, I get a remainder of 156 which will be the new divisor and the divisor 192 will be the new dividend. When the remainder is 0 then the divisor will be the HCF. In other words we keep dividing the dividend by the divisor then the small number by the remainder and so on. When the remainder is 0, then the divisor will be the HCF. For the better understanding of this concept, let us do a division. Let us divide 348 by 192. When I divide 348, by 192, I get a remainder of 156. Now the remainder 156 is the new divisor and the divisor 192 will be the new dividend. Now I divide 192 by 156 and I get a new remainder that is 36. Again. 36 is my new divisor and I divide 156 by 36. 
When I divide 156 by 36, I get a remainder of 12, which is my new divisor. And I divide 36 by 12, which exactly divides 36 with, without leaving any remainder. Since now the remainder is 0, the last divisor, that is 12, is the HCF of 348 and 192. The division has four steps. Each step has a unique divisor and a unique dividend. Every step except the fourth has a non-zero remainder. The bigger number or the dividend is 348. The smaller number or the divisor is 192 which becomes the new dividend. The remainder 156. The remainder is 156 which becomes the new divisor. Note the takeaway of this discussion is after the first step of the division, the remainder becomes the divisor and the divisor becomes the dividend till the division ends with a remainder of zero. The last divisor would be the highest common factor. HCF factorization method. Now let us find the highest common factor of 192 and 348 by using the prime factorization method. The prime factors of 192 include 2 multiplied by 2 6 times into 3 that is 2 raised to 6 into 3. The prime factors of 348 include 2 into 2 into 3 into 29 that is 2 square into 3 into 29. Now we look for only the common prime factors between the two sets of factors which have the lowest power. Please note we consider only those common factors which have the lowest powers. The common prime factors are 2 raised to 6, 3 raised to 1, 2. The common factors are the powers of 2 and the power of 3. However, we consider only the lowest powers which are 2 square and 3 raised to 1. Hence, the HCF, the HCF of 192 and 348 is 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 that is 12. Why do we consider only the common prime factors which have the lowest powers for HCF? For HCF, we consider only the common prime factors which have the lowest powers because only these lowest powers can exactly divide each number. For example, in the question below, 2 square into 3 raised to 1 or 12 can divide 192 and 342 each. But 2 raised to 6 into 3 raised to 1 or 192 can divide only 192. But it cannot divide 348. Hence, we do not consider 2 raised to 6. Why do we ignore the non-common factors for HCF? A prime factor which exists only in one of the two numbers cannot be part of the HCF because it can divide only one number whose factor it is. It cannot divide the other number. For example, in the question below, 29, 29 can divide 348 but it cannot divide 192. Hence, we do not consider 29 for HCF. 29 is not a common factor for 192 and 348. Hence, we ignore it. Thus, we have a couple of approaches to find the LCM and HCF of two or more numbers. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, press the notification bell so that you get notifications 
as we post new videos. To know about our online and offline coaching, please write to us info.hyderabadhub at gmail.com or call us at 844-855-7665-844-855-7665. Thank you.